So this is, was, one of the bucket pins for the excavator. It broke. I had a go at welding it back together, but my little 120 volt welder just wasn't up to the task. This is thick solid steel, couldn't really get enough heat into it to really get good penetration. And it broke again, right at the weld. So I'm gonna have to replace it. So I bought that. I hunted around a little bit and this was the best I could find to replace this pin with. The pin was 35 millimeters and I don't know what it was made of, but based on the fracture, good alloy steel hardened and ground for strength and wear. And so I hunted around a little bit and it's hard to buy hardened steel because most raw material goes to a machine shop. You buy it and then you machine it. And then if you want it hard, you harden it afterwards so it's easier to machine. I still thought I'd do a little bit better. This is 4140. It's an inch and three eighths diameter, which I forget the exact conversion. It's within 10 thou of 35 millimeters, so it'll be fine. This has got not 10 times that, five times that in wear, so I'm not that worried about matching the size exactly. It's 4140, which is chromoly, chrome molybdenum alloy steel, and it's pre-hardened up to Rockwell C about 28, which... It's okay. It gets it up to a 119 KSI yield, 119,000 pounds per square inch to fail, to deform. Uh, it's up to you to decide what failure means. Anyway, it's going to be a serviceable replacement. So the plan is I'm going to cut this to length. I'm going to grind a lead in on it. And because it's not really that hard, I might even be able to get the retaining hole drilled in it. I'm going to try. If I can't, I can grind a groove in it and modify how it mounts on the machine and, and make that work. The feature I'm certainly not going to be able to get into it is the grease holes. This has a grease fitting in the end. It's drilled down the center and then cross drilled in two places so that when you pump grease in the end, it feeds the two bushings. I am not going to be able with the tools that I have to drill a long straight hole down the center, even at RC28. So the plan is I'm going to modify how it greases. I'm going to take the link of the machine drill a hole in it, put a grease fitting in it, and then just have a single grease point in the center. I think that'll be more than adequate, and I'll note this one broke right at one of the grease holes, so those weaken the pin, and I need all the strength I can get because this is probably a lower strength steel than what they used originally. But yeah, that's the plan. It's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna get to work. Let's see if I can drill this thing. That was almost too easy.
All right. One excavator pin. All right, this is the mating part on the excavator. The pin goes through here. For when you wanted to grease this joint, you would use a grease gun. It would go through the end of the pin, out, and distribute through the pin to two points inside here. And two points is nice, but not necessary. So I am going to drill a hole right in the center here and put a grease fitting here, and then I can leave that pin solid and one, not have to go through all the trouble of trying to drill a long hole through the center of the pin in hardened steel, and two, not have the cross-drilled holes that ultimately weaken the pin. So that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Unfortunately, I kind of want it, I want it tucked in here to protect it. This is right on the bucket, so you can see this is dinged up. So if I put a grease fitting right here where it's easy to drill, it's going to get busted off in no time. So I'd like to have it way in there. Of course, you can't drill a hole there, so I'm going to have to do my best. Tuck it in there as much as I can. I think it's going to be something like this, which now that I look at my camera placement means you're not going to see a thing. Maybe I can do it this way. I think it's going to be something like that. I think my drill bit's bent. That's sort of a problem. Well, that was a 9 30 seconds drill bit that I want to use. And unfortunately, I don't have another one. I got lots of duplicates under quarter inch. And I've got commonly used duplicates up to half inch. But that's not a commonly used one. So, point here is to tap an M8 by one hole, which needs a 7 millimeter pilot and 936 to 7.1, which would have been preferable. This is a 1764ths, which is 6.8 or something. So think I can make that work? We'll see. That was pretty awkward, but I got it. Grease fitting. Well, there's a problem. I didn't check this. It was supposed to be, I forget what the tolerance specified was, but I feel like it was supposed to be plus zero minus one thou. It's turn ground and polish stock, one and three eighths inch, 1.375. And this is 1.435. So I just wasted the afternoon and I have to call a metal supplier because the stuff wasn't cheap and I waited for it. My excavator hasn't been functional because you kind of need bucket pins in order to do anything with it. I was really excited to go put this together and it doesn't fit. All right, well, I'll see you later. All right, got me a new chunk of 4140 here. This one actually measures inch and three eighths. So let's make another pen, one that's the right size. than I was planning, I finally have one pin that's going to work. Let's go get this on the machine and put it back into service.
This is my temporary solution. I was waiting for material to get here. Just a pipe that I happened to have that had the right diameter. Yeah, I really had to baby this thing. If I tried to do anything for real, I would have broken it for sure. But it at least got the sheen out and let me have something. I could kind of nudge things and take real light scoops of dirt, but I was afraid to do any more than that. Right, new pin fits, it went in good. New grease point works, this project is done. It's time to go put it through its paces. Got a truckload full of crushed concrete that's been sitting for weeks waiting for this repair. So I'm gonna go spread that around and see how it holds up.